Whoop. This thing will kill me one day. Hi everyone, it's me, Manians, and welcome to my short-ish review of the Crusader Mercury Star Runner, which is classified as medium freight. Medium freight? Well, it's a freighter. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting ship. It's not as huge as the Starfarer, of course. And yeah, I mean, it's it's a different, it's an interesting variant. It looks very interesting. Leak, sort of. It's asymmetrical, which is fine in space, definitely. It comes with, yeah, the weapons. Turrets. I think it's just two turrets. Yeah, one on top and one below. I will have to look. So, let's open the ramp. This one. I, I like these buttons. You can actually see that you're hitting something. So. Okay, um, I will close the ramp. Okay, short lag, sorry about that. I will close the ramp. I will quickly go to the cockpit. So we have to turn on the lights and then we will commence a quick ship tour. All right. Okay, yeah, this is where we came in from. This is the cargo area. I forgot how much cargo this thing can carry. Is it 100 something, 200? Yeah, it's okay-ish. It's okay, definitely okay. Okay, so, yeah, this is engineering. So, we have component access, you know, quantum drive, coolers and shear generators and what have you. So, yeah. Very cool. And, come on, sesame, open, open sesame, what do you want? Yeah, there's nothing. This looks like a door, but it isn't. So, yeah. <laughs> No, no way to open this. Okay. Lift. I mean, this short distance. He could have given us stairs. So, these are servers. This is server. I am not entirely sure why this thing needs servers. Why no other ship has a server room. It's quite odd, to be honest. Okay, so, scanning. This is the scanning. Yeah, uh, I don't know what it does, to be honest. Uh, yeah, you have the support seat. I tested it out, uh, still at the expo. And all it does, well, it straps you in. And you have some, maybe electronic warfare or something. But this is a deploy. Oh, yeah. Just something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the radar dish or something came out. Interesting. I have no idea what, what all of any of this does. Retract? Yeah. So is this like an AWACS ship? Weird. Really weird, to be perfectly honest. I... Can I... No, I can't control the ship from here. This is strange. I would need to look up what exactly this does. But again, this is review isn't to tell you every little detail. It's just so you can see the interior, see what you're getting into, and don't have to look super long reviews of, you know, someone staring at the wall at centimeter by centimeter. Yeah, enter turret. This one is the above turret. Yeah, this is the more interesting one, of course. Yeah, like, like a gander. Quite a long way up. Oh, power on the sea. Okay. No, the weapons are nothing. Nothing to write home about. Oh, yeah, size 3 repeaters. It's okay. You have two turrets. You have some weapons for the for the pilot. But again, this is a this is a freighter and it seems like Supposed to do electronic warfare. These are the turrets. This is the way to the bridge. We have recreation. This is Yeah. Full kitchen in a way. I mean you have a microwave, 
oven, what have you, mini bar snacks. Yeah, this is cool. You have chessboard. Actually, interact. Um, I'm gonna make an illegal move. I mean, wait, what? Yeah. But the game allows me to do it, so I'm gonna do it. So, yeah, this is the gym. I like the design of this thing, so, so that you, I mean, design, that you can actually hit those switches, same with the doors, that you can actually see what you're doing. Quite enjoy this. Weapon racks, I believe. Components. Uh, habitation. Yeah, let's make this one. So. Yep. Dudes are not cleaning up their mess, so this is the surface planetary monitors yeah this is like some sort of electronics warfare thing oh there's the there's the shower is this the is this the loo then we have to take it in the shower and just push it through with your toes oh there's not even a grate to oh no oh this also oh i see this is okay perfect yeah guys leaving a head and shoulders out wow What's this? Teddy bear. Yeah, okay, so this is the living quarter. Quite roomy. I mean, it's, it's nice. It smells a bit, but that's about it. Let's see how this thing flies. Okay. Cockpit is really nice as well. I like it. And it's sort of it reminds me very much of contemporary cargo planes. I mean, this is... This looks much more like a contemporary plane than, than any other ship I've seen so far. Okay, now. Engines on. Engines on. Launch complete. Oh, it's reacting quite well. Let's see. Landing gear. Beetle. Anything? No. It's a sleek design. Whoa, okay. Okay, okay. Let me let me get back inside. Yeah. Yeah, acceleration is nice. The maneuverability is nice as well. Actually surprisingly responsive. Yeah. Good. Uh, the visibility is great. You can see a lot from here. Okay, let's look at the weapons. So uh, we have... Sorry, where are you? Uh, six missiles, of course, size... Yeah, four size two and two size three missiles. We have... It's only two size three repeaters. Yeah, it's the sort of... Almost like a remote turret looking thing. Yeah, this is... You know, it is not a battle. Uh, it's not a combat ship per se. I mean, it can hold its own. The turrets look like they can fire uh, the front quite reasonably, so they can actually pick on the same targets the pilot is seeing. So this is good. This is really important. There are so many ships that can't do that. You know, a few missiles. Six. Oh. <laughs> It's nothing to write home about, but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's a nice ship. It's a, it's a freighter, and again, as I suspect, electronic warfare type. Okay, so we arrived at Hurston Lagrange 1 station. Now, this thing, despite its, its apparent mass, is easy enough to maneuver. Responsive. It's, yeah, it's, it's nice. So, I'm quite enjoying this ship. Oh, come on. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna leave leave the power on because I want to show something, and that is you can actually, uh, yeah, lock the doors or turn the sensors on and off. So that it, you know, they will either open or close automatically. You can open or close them here and actually lock them. But, well, 
I don't know what this will actually do uh, because as far as I'm aware everyone on the ship can use these so yeah anyway I I really like this ship I like the interior design because yeah it's it's way easier I mean it's it's not as big as the Gemini what's it a Starfarer Gemini but it could have been much more complicated it's like the same the same architect had designed this or I don't know if it's, it's architects or engineers rather yeah it would have been much more complicated but this is really concise yeah I like it so uh, leave a like a comment subscribe have a nice day see you in the next review bye bye